You know, over the last few years, I've brought you quite a few stories on the elephants at the Elephant Nature Park, Chiang Mai in Northern Thailand. Well, today, I have a different story for you, a very special story. As I've shown you in the past, elephant emotions are very similar to those of humans. They laugh, they cry, they play games. Their children love rolling in the mud pit. And sometimes their mothers have to chastise the baby elephants for being too naughty. <laughs> but most of all, they love. And that's the special story today. This is, in fact, an elephant love story. Some of you may already know the story of the reunion between Mayui, Mabai, and Bunsri. In that video, the elephants show their love for each other in a way that very few people get to see. Well, this love story is not finished yet. Lek received a phone call from the Mahout at our project, telling her that our three elephants, although released into the jungle, have been traveling across the mountains three kilometers away to spend time with a young male elephant who'd been chained in the forest. The owner of this young male had brought him back to the home village for a traditional blessing ceremony, which can last up to one month, and he was soon to be taken back to the working camp. As it turned out, he had been made to work at an elephant circus at a camp in the Chiang Mai area where Boon Sri had also worked. So when Boon Sri returned to the forest just this week, she somehow communicated with him in a way that only elephants can understand, and she went looking for him. His name is Erawan, meaning King of Elephants. Now we were thrilled to hear this story and we certainly didn't want Erawan to return to the circus. We asked the owner to allow us to rescue Erawan and bring him to our project and let him run free in the mountain forest with Ayui, Maybai and Bootsri. <laughs> Today we're honored that Kununa Silpa Acha came to join us and walk with four very happy elephants roaming free in their mountain homeland. I hope I wish that all elephants in actually in this world they will have a chance, a good chance like these four elephants, that they will not be forced to do anything that it's not their natural behavior. They can roam free in the jungle. They can uh, feed themselves. They can do anything they want and stay together as a family. This is what I, you know, I feel that I want this to happen. And when I walk them into the jungle today, what I, you know, I, I keep feeding them all the time. And like Ella one, the new one that we, we just rescued, uh, I observe that, um, even though I feed him food without any condition, he still keep trying to please me by bowing himself down, by trying to say like thank you to me because I think that he used to be forced to do that and he still think that he has to do that to me in order to get food. I hope that one day when I come back, this feeling of him will go away and he will learn to have the why natural behavior. He will learn to know that he hasn't have to do that anymore. He has the freedom. You know, that to me 
is the most beautiful story I have presented for the Elephant Nature Park and say the Elephant Foundation. Now the work being done here is leading the way in the preservation and protection of the magnificent Asian elephant. Led by the uh, incomparable Lex Shilet and her dedicated team of local Thai people, volunteers from around the world, their work is second to none. So if you're visiting Thailand, you want that unique Thai experience? Well, come out to the Elephant Nature Park, Chiang Mai. You won't be disappointed. Come and meet some of these gentle giants of the animal world. I may see you there. Once again, it's that time, so... Kap, kap, sawari kap. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.